Hey, what's going on everybody out there in YouTube land? This is Roy, aka Horizon Guy. My eBay store is Horizon Picks. This is a sales update video for about the last month or so. I had a couple people reach out on YouTube asking a few questions and I went and I said, wow, you know, I haven't done a video in about a month or so. So this is my uh, about top 40 picks from the last month or so that I'd share with you. Uh, so it should be about, I'm hoping to get this done in about a half hour. Uh, so let's get to it. I also wanted to mention that all these are uh, mostly fixed price, 30 day make offer listings. Uh, a lot of them do offer free shipping. I've been getting into a lot more clothing as of late. Uh, and I do offer free shipping on a lot of the clothing uh, to remain competitive with Amazon and most clothing places seem to offer free shipping. Uh, so I'm trying to be competitive with that and uh, let's get to it. Okay, first up we have Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This was a near mint game. I got this out of the Goodwill bins, probably paid about 50 cents for it. Uh, this uh, took a best offer of $20, plus offered free shipping. This shipped in a bubble mailer first class. So pretty good profit there. Good things come in little packages. These little LeBrons, they probably fit in the palm of your hand. Uh, these I found at the Salvation Army on the half-off day. I paid $1.50 for these. Uh, I took a best offer of $21.25 and offered the free shipping. And again, these went in a bubble mailer first class. Uh, you definitely always want to look for the LeBron James. This is the logo. You see it there. Uh, Michael Jordans are great, but LeBrons, they, they do command a pretty good price, even on the little kids' shoes. These flyers, athletic pants, these were 2XL, pretty big. A guy reached out to me, he was very interested, took a best offer of $21.50 on these with the free shipping. Again, they did go in a, a padded mailer, first class. Um, I got these at the Goodwill bins, probably paid about a dollar because uh, it is by weight. This, this was pulled out of the Goodwill bins as well. This is a pig pen who was uh, connected to the Grateful Dead. This is one of his solo shirts, but you see there it does say Grateful Dead. This is a throwback. This is actually a reissue of an original 1966 shirt. Uh, so this one, I had some offers right away, uh, but the original guy that got in touch first got it for $22.50 and free shipping. So I did the, this again, went for about, usually about three, three fifty dollars uh, first class mail. This was also pulled out of the bins. Uh, this is a hiking kind of kayak uh, backpack harness. I guess you can keep your you know, lunch in there when you're going down the river or whatever, or a drink. The harness uh, took a best offer of $22.50, and it did have the $5 flat shipping fee on that. I think I was able to get this out for for the, uh, it was pretty light. I think it was under a pound at, uh, for the, um, First class. Uh, I do sometimes put this $5 in there if it's borderline because sometimes when you pack it up and you go over the dollar, then you're stuck with kind of getting it into a flat rate or boxing it up yourself. And sometimes that adds on depending on where you're shipping it to. These are not your daughter's jeans. They're a pretty popular brand. Um, sold a couple of these over the last month or two. Um, it seems to be a, a, an easy moving brand. Uh, I took a best offer of $24 plus the free shipping. Got these at the bins, probably paid a dollar, dollar fifty for these. Um, and these usually go in a flat rate priority mail uh, from, free from the post office. This crossover knee brace, uh, Bledsoe's a pretty good brand. The, this one, I remember I got this at a yard sale uh, for $1. The guy had it. I opened it. Um, I saw inside that it was pretty much unused and for a dollar couldn't go wrong. Uh, this did sell for the full price of $25 plus the free shipping. Uh, it was pretty light. I, I'm not sure if this went first class or not, but 
uh, stuff like this. I had originally had it a bit more expensive because it was pretty much new, uh, but it didn't, it wasn't moving. And then you just lowered it enough and boom, there it goes. I think this is originally over 50 bucks new if you, you know, hurt your knee and needed to buy it. I got a large lot of toys from a other reseller that I know, a friend of mine, and this was just kind of down at the bottom of the bins. I gathered together all these little PVC toys uh, on this lot. This did sell for full price, and it sold overnight, right away. Uh, I went to Global Shipping Program, so uh, got sold for 25 plus the the five oh and i see here okay i did do an auction on this sometimes if i'm not sure what something's worth or how quickly it'll sell i'll do a throw it up on auction and on this one i did the buy it now and somebody popped on it right away which is always a bonus um i really had nothing into this lot um uh, this shirt i got this at a flea market i think i paid a two bucks for it it was originally in a pack uh, like so um, and just was mint condition looked unused somebody looked like they had uh, put it up on their wall got a little bit of lower offers in the beginning and I held out and I did get $25 plus free shipping on this and it did go uh, via first class mail in that toy lot this was in there as well these are the vintage karate fighters you kind of stick them on this little post and they kick each other and it's kind of kind of silly but they are they are very popular and they made a different a lot of different toys for karate fighters took a best offer of 25 dollars plus the free shipping these uh went i think they did go priority mail uh, but they were light because they're just a light plastic uh, probably only had maybe a dollar into these because they were in a big toy lot that i got from a friend of mine Metal Militia, uh, shown some Metal Militia in other previous videos. Uh, I had gotten a decent haul of uh, Militia stuff. Uh, these shorts uh, took a best offer of $25. And then I was running a sale in my store, uh, and this buyer actually bought a second pair for $25 as well. So I sold two pairs, uh, so I got about a $50 order. And I think I was still able, I can't remember, I think I got them both into the flat rate uh, priority mail together, which is, is bonus. Again, I probably had less than, a, probably a buck a piece in, in these. Oh, cool, yeah, this leather hat, kind of in the style of Crocodile Dundee, pretty close. Pulled this out of the bins, probably paid, a, it's pretty light, probably paid about a dollar for it. Um, I took a best offer on the leather hat, $27.50 plus the free shipping. I think I was able to get this out first class uh, in, in a light box. Jean jacket. Usually if I'm at the bins and I see anything that's decent from Gap, uh, Gap or American Eagle, Aeropostal, those types of brands, I usually pick them up. Uh, this and this jean jacket in this any jean jacket in this kind of trucker style, which has these lines going down from the top pocket there. You see, uh, any any jacket like that's pretty sellable. Uh, I took a best offer. Actually, no, I got the full price, thirty bucks at the bins, maybe a buck or two for this, uh, and off it went. These block and tackle or, or if you see they're everywhere out where I live um, but if you can get them at a reasonable pr reasonable price I would say five dollars and under uh, you're looking at decent profit um, I've sold a few of these over the last month or two this block and tackle I uh, did get the full price the cool thing about them is in this size um, they I had three of them, and they all fit in a regional A box, which doesn't go by weight. So I just put in the $9.99 shipping here, and I think on all three I had buy it, buy it now. So I didn't even have an offer. Uh, and you, you know, you know, if you look up your postal codes and you kind of know uh, where things are going, you can easily get it. So you're not kind of losing money on shipping there. So. And these sell, these block and tackle are great people, and they're usable. You could still do stuff with them.
I got this one at a flea market for I think a buck fifty. This lot of cars I had was that one yard sale like two summers ago and I bought a ton of cars and Disney Pixar toys. This was these were all at the bottom of a bin. These are the metal die cast versions. Um, on the cars I did get full price 33 plus free shipping. I think I was able to get all these into a flat rate mailer, priority mailer. Uh, and then I have another lot that I still have to put up that's all plastic, but these are really collectible uh, cars. I mean, people really, kids really love that movie. They love these toys. And probably had, I think, maybe I would say a dollar or two. I remember I got two or three bins full of toys at a yard sale for maybe 10 bucks. Hey, the I love. This is a pretty co cool looking. Um, they do make the a lot of these. This one's pretty cool in that you can use the app on your phone to over over I believe over Wi-Fi you can control this. Uh, the this did sell for full price at thirty three plus. I did calculated shipping uh, as it had to go um, priority mail just in case anything electronic. I pretty much always do priority in case it gets broken. So you do have insurance there. Uh, this was given to me by a friend of mine. She was moving, and uh, thanks for that. These jeans I got out of the bins, probably a dollar or two. They're Chico's. They're new with tags. Um, they're double zero short. I actually got a couple of pairs of these. This one sold. took a few days to sell, but it, it sold pretty quickly. Any, any clothing that I could sell in under a week, I'm pretty happy with that. So... Full price uh, on the, of the 35 plus free shipping, and again, it goes in a priority flat rate mailer. Adidas, these, uh, I had had these up a little bit higher because they were just in fantastic condition. I think I, if I recall right, I got these at the Salvation Army on the half off day. I probably paid no more than $3 for these. They did sell for the full price of 35 plus the free shipping. Most of the time, these are going in the shoebox, priority mail, usually anywhere between six to eight bucks, depending on the zip code, uh, unless these were small, these, these were size 10. If they're small enough, I can usually really uh, bubble wrap them up and get them into a flat rate, but I don't really push it, especially if they're in really good shape like that. I don't want to, I want them to arrive nicely for my customers, so. Just uh, be careful when you pack up your stuff, you know, think about if you were to get it, you know, would you be satisfied with how it's packed? Hey, these Berkeys, this is about the last, I probably had six or seven pairs of Birkenstocks. I got them all at one time at a half off at the Salvation Army. These, I'm probably going to say I paid maybe three to four dollars for these. Uh, took a best offer $35 plus the free shipping. These are really great because they are so flat. You just kind of lay them on top, wrap them up. They're very sturdy. Uh, Birkenstocks are you know, well made and durable and people really like them. I have never not sold a pair that I got. So keep a lookout. And it, it should always say uh, made in Germany. You always want to look for right here made in Germany and if you look under the number there's a couple different things this little foot here depending on the design of this that's actually the tread or the bottom of the the sandal uh, sometimes they're thicker or thinner and then down here the L is for ladies and the M is for men's as far as US sizes uh, so Birkenstocks are generally viewed as, you know, unisex, but uh, depending on the design, you can put either way. Uh, but ladies, so in this ca case, it'd be a ladies size 9 and a men's size 7. So just a little info for you. Puma, this was a cool jacket. I had had this up for a little bit higher, um, but uh, gradually, I think I... Uh, just decided I wanted to move it. I probably could have held out and gotten 45 or 50 bucks, but took a best offer of 35 plus free shipping. Um, this is a 
for it's whenever you find these and you see that it's Puma, but this was also Ferrari. Uh, and any kind of high-end brands like that, the clothing involved, this was also had, a, the, the, I think that's the Italian flag there. Um, good stuff, you know, uh, people, it's, it looks like just a higher-end hoodie, really good quality. Um, I got this at the Half Off Salvation Army, probably paid, I'm going to say, it was probably about five and then half off that, so maybe like 250 for this. Okay, next up we got the HP Toner. I don't really sell too much of this type of stuff, but this one I found at the Goodwill. It was sealed. It was expired, but with toner, if it's sealed up and new, people want it. People will buy it. This I sold within a few hours of listing it, and I had offers right away. Uh, low ball offers, and I basically kind of met in the middle with one guy and, and took a best offer, 35 plus the free shipping. I believe this fit into the uh, shoe box, uh, priority size box, and off it went. I got this, I think this was two bucks at the, uh, the Goodwill, so moving on out. Hey, I sold these the other day. Um, these Rockin' Republic jeans. I got these at half off at the Salvation Army. Probably two to three dollars for these. Took a best offer of thirty-five uh, plus the free shipping. Again, flat rate priority mail mailer. This is a vintage pit crew Mercedes uh, jacket. A really cool piece. Probably could have held out. I had this listed for a few months. I originally had this listed a bit higher. No takers through the holidays. Uh, I just thought it was really cool. This is all embroidered. Uh, it's a really neat. You could see, you know, picture these guys in like the seventies jumping out, you know, during during a race to help out with, you know, the pit crew, Mercedes pit crew. Anywho, uh, took a best offer of 38 bucks plus the free shipping. I got this at a, a tailgate auction. I paid $12 for it. Um, again, thought I might be able to get there. I think I originally had this as high as 100 uh, but just no takers. And then gradually you got to move it out. So if I saw it again, they do make this in, you know, Ferrari, Mercedes. I think they make a Porsche one. It's a cool thing. The satin vintage jacket. Cool. Good to look out for. Kohan, great brand. Had it in a bunch of my previous videos. I sell and I list and sell. I buy Kohan stuff whenever I can, provided it's not too beaten up. Uh, these wing tips. I had these up for a couple months. I got these half off at the Salvation Army. Probably again, two to three bucks for these I paid. Took a best off for a 35 plus free shipping. Uh, pro I think I was able to get these into a legal uh, flat rate mailer. And uh, that's a guy's pair. Here's a female pair I sold. These sold for full price, $40 plus free shipping. These are just women's loafers. Um, and Kohan, great stuff. When you look at these, you can take a good look at the leather. You know, you want to look and see if it's creased. Um, and, you know, when you get them home, Colhan's a good quality leather usually, and you can usually clean these up, buff them out, um, and it, it's a brand that people will buy used. It's it's good stuff. So these again, half off Salvation Army, probably two to three bucks. Got the full price. Oh yeah, this guy Power Rangers. Uh, this is a tall. He's a pretty big guy. You see, he's twenty four inches. Um, Got him with a couple other toys at a flea market. Um, saw him a couple weeks prior, and then I saw the same seller again. Had him. I paid ten bucks for him. Uh, thought he was a little bit more valuable, uh, but just one of those things where you you, I, you can't keep everything. He's pretty bulky, and unless you have a spot for him, this one global shipping program took a best offer for thirty five dollars. And I just had a flat $6 fee. I did eat a little bit probably to get him uh, to Kentucky. Uh, and then off he went. Uh, I bought a lot of textile sewing, old sewing machine bobbins uh, and spools. They were all in a large uh, clothing, uh, like a laundry bin full to the top. I got the whole bin for five bucks uh, at a tailgate auction, 
and I listed up a bunch. I still have one more lot like this. Uh, this lot, I took a best offer, 30 plus free shipping. I think this went in an A regional box. Uh, and then I had, this was another lot of, these are spindles. These, uh, there was actually 145 of these. And I got them all nicely into a, uh, a B, a regional B box. Uh, and on this, I took a best offer of $41 plus the free shipping. Uh, so between the two, I'm at about 70, what is that, 71, and then I still have one more lot listed. So if you're interested in these uh, spindles, uh, go check them out. They're, they're in my store. These Jordans, I was at a Goodwill. I uh, picked up a couple pairs of shoes. This young boy had these, and he was holding them, and his mom was like, we have to go. And he put them back, and then I grabbed them, uh, and uh, they were half off. I think I paid. They're usually six ninety seven for shoes, so half that, so three fifty. Uh, I took a best offer of forty two fifty on these, plus the free shipping. Uh, again, into the shoe box priority mail, and uh, off those went. This was cool. Also at the Goodwill, half off day. Uh, the This was underneath some backpacks. Uh, it is a pack, but it's for it's for your dog. It's a really cool kind of pack. I guess you can have them carry your lunch or medical supplies or, you know, it's pretty cool uh, and good quality. These sell for pretty good price new. On this, I had a few low ball offers at first held out. I, I took a best offer of 40 for 25 and then I had free shipping this fit uh, into the uh, shoe box size priority mail uh, and it's it's really cool you know you put it on put it on your dog and you can you know strap some on and off you go you can have your dog carry some stuff so pretty pretty cool uh, probably paid I think I paid half off of five so I paid 250 for this this was uh, I had a couple two summers ago. I got a large lot of cosmetics and makeup and kind of bathroom stuff. Uh, I had sold a bunch of lots uh, over the last bunch of two years, and this was one of the last ones I had. I just had not gotten around to listing it. Listed it, and within an hour, I got it was an auto best offer taken uh, forty five. Uh, plus free shipping on this. This is uh, not, it's La Mer, La Mer. Um, it, this stuff is expensive if you try to get it new. Um, and th these were actually used, uh, already opened and used. Um, but for what I had, the person was very happy. And again, the lot I had gotten was maybe $5 and I actually wanted the bin. Uh, so Lemur Skin Care. So if you see that, it's an expensive brand. These Deodora, I got these at the Goodwill. Um, I was doing a quick sweep before I went into the bins part of the Goodwill where I go. And I saw these. These were $6.97. Uh, these are Deodora uh, kind of clip-in, I guess, biking, mountain biking shoes. These are, I took a best offer of 45 plus the free shipping. These again into the uh, shoebox size priority mail. In that large toy lot that I had bought off a friend, this was one of the first things that sold out of that. This is a Mighty Max. These are tiny little kind of handheld, I guess, little play sets. Um, not really so I don't know too much about them they are very collectible some of these are get to be pretty expensive um, these are kind of early like these are mark 92 by bluebird the mighty max this sold for full price 50 bucks uh, plus the free shipping these went in a I think I got them in a padded flat rate mailer put priority mailer uh, this Stetson I got this at an auction um, I think I was bidding against a couple people when I got it. Uh, anything Stetson, I'm going to buy if I can get it at a reasonable price. I think I paid 10 bucks for this hat. I originally had it a bit higher as it is the, the Royal Deluxe is just that. It's 
a higher one of the higher quality hats uh, did have a little bit of uh, wear um, let's see if I could show here a little bit on the rim um, and you know I mean the quality is just awesome on this and if you you're into hats the Stetson's where it's at uh, the fedora I took a best offer of 50 bucks uh, plus it did have a six dollar shipping charge in there I think I ate a couple bucks on the shipping um, but I was happy to move it along I sold a bunch of hats uh, I had had them this one had been sitting for a little while and I'm, I'm glad I finally got these listed because I did get a bunch sold in the last couple months and they're just they're great these Merrells, I uh, got these half off on Salvation Army. Uh, probably paid, what is it? I probably paid maybe four or five bucks for these. And these Merrells took a best offer of 55 plus free shipping. Uh, so these went and again in the uh, uh, shoe box from the priority. priority mail service post office, a couple bucks. I mean, Merrell's a great brand. These just looked too too good to be true. When I saw them, I had to get them. They have the Vibram sole. Uh, they're just bright. They have very little wear. If you look at the soles on these, if you see something that's this clean, I do clean them up, but not too much. Like that's like the most amount of gunk on them. I mean, they're fantastic. So Merrill, great brand. Pick it up. Hey there, here's another Stetson hat. I had had this one. I got this at auction probably two or three years ago. Uh, I knew it was worth decent money. I thought it was worth a little bit more than I got for it. I got this at auction for, I think I paid $2, 2 or $3 with the end of an auction. And nobody really wanted it. Um, I, I took a best offer on this hat, $55 plus I had the $10 shipping in there. I did eat a couple dollars. I did end up sending this FedEx uh, so because I wanted to make sure that it, it didn't get bounced around too much. It had its own box. So it was a box in a box. And the hat had a little bit of wear, you know, but it was just, it's a Stetson cowboy hat. And, you know, if you see a Stetson cowboy hat, uh, you know, here's what it looks like. You should buy it if you can get it at a reasonable price. You'll most likely make money on it. Hey, the era. Um, if I'm saying that right, uh, this is a snowboarding, skiing type uh, brand. Um, have sold a few. I got these in a clothing lot from a friend of a friend. Uh, and here's a bunch of things that I sold out of that. So I want to move this video along here. This was a sweatshirt slash pullover hoodie. It's lined. Uh, I did get the full price, 45 plus free shipping on this. Probably only had about a dollar or so, dollar, dollar or two in the next few pieces. So this one, full price, 45 This was a, a snow ski jacket. This is just a liner for a jacket. Uh, but again, all this stuff is new with tags on this liner. I took a best offer of $50. Uh, everything here has free shipping. It's almost always going in the uh, flat, um, sorry, the shoebox size priority mail uh, postal service. So this one, 50 bucks. Here's a ski snow jacket hooded. It's lined. Uh, this one, I took a best offer of 60 plus the free shipping. And then here's another puffy jacket uh, that's also hooded. Really cool. It's got great details on it. On this one, I took a best offer of 65 plus the free shipping. Okay, the home stretch here, guys. This is a, a vintage Adam Pace setter hat. This is what's known as a shark's grill hat. You can see it right there. That's what that means. It's a special detail. This I had gotten at auction for, I'm going to say, less than $5, I remember. And I had this, the previous Stetson hat. I got it at the same auction. There were a bunch of different hats there. This was a great, great quality hat. Uh, plus, it had the box and everything. It's, it's just, it was just awesome. Uh, I had this listed a bit higher in the beginning. 
uh, but I originally I just lowered it and lowered it and somebody did buy it for full price here at 75 plus the five dollar shipping ate a few bucks to get this because I had to do a box in a box I think I sent this FedEx as well is uh, trying to box this other box it, it ends up usually the bulk and I like to keep these things usually with FedEx when the boxes are big like that and it just I've never had an issue with it who says you can't sell a piano on eBay uh, well this one's a little smaller piano this is a Schoen Hut uh, pretty popular brand uh, this is a stand-up kids piano Super cute, um, highly collectible too. People really go after these. This one was in really nice shape. It only had a few little minor scratches on it. Uh, and it sold within a few hours of me listing it uh, on the piano. I took a best offer of 80. Uh, and then I did have this free shipping on it. Hindsight being 2020, Either next time I'm going to ask more for it or I'm going to add shipping because I did ship this FedEx uh, home delivery, but it did cost about 22 bucks to ship it. So on my 80 minus the 22, I paid $10 for this at an auction uh, and it was just really just sitting in my garage. I had to move it and off it goes. If I did it again, like I said, I'd probably adjust some things to make a little bit more profit because packing and shipping this out was not the easiest. And I'm not sure for the amount of profit if it was worth it. But, you know, live and learn. It's it's, it's part of you know running your business. The Snap-on Tools jacket uh, got a bunch of uh, clothing uh, from a friend of mine. And this was one of the first things that sold. This one, I took a best offer of 80. The, this was the next day after I listed it. Uh, it sold right away. Best offer of 80, free, free shipping. This went coast to coast. Uh, so I did, I did uh, a flat rate medium box because uh, this had to go over, out, to, to, out to the West Coast. Uh, had no, no cost into this piece. Hey, another Santa. This one I had shown in a previous video right before the holidays. I had another one of these. This one was actually complete new in box. I got this a, a week after Christmas last year and I paid $10 for it. And I literally put it when I packed up my holiday stuff for the year, I put this with it. And then this year I went and you know listed it and this actually sold you see this sold on Christmas uh, and let's see here on the Santa I took a best offer of ninety six dollars and seventy five cents plus the free shipping uh, you can see I mean it was a box and a box uh, and he's he's in perfect shape he he reads these different stories here uh, he moves it's a fantastic piece it's by Avon Read me a story, Santa. Look out for it. Hey, this 2XL, I got this at a uh, auction. I remember paying, I think I paid 2 or $3 for this. Nobody knew what it was. Uh, and the great thing was I opened it and it had, you know, it was complete. It had these cassettes. This is a, uh, you know, early 90s toy. It's an educational toy, uh, cassette driven, and it, we tested it worked perfectly you can see here uh you know everything everything was just awesome and it sold within 24 hours full price of the 100 and then i did free shipping and i think it paid maybe 10 or 11 dollars to ship it i think it did i can't remember where it went but great profit to excel and then last we have, this is a vintage Aeropostale leather bomber jacket in the style of kind of MacGyver. Uh, it's just, it's just awesome. You know, it's a just thick leather jacket. I got this at the bins, probably paid maybe four or five bucks. It's pretty heavy leather. Uh, and nobody gave it a second thought. At the bins, there are some things like this you can find that, it's a no-brainer. Uh, full price, hundred bucks. I did have a flat six dollars in there. I think this went coast to coast, 
So I ate a couple bucks because I did the uh, a flat rate box. I probably, yeah, what maybe I probably ate about eight bucks in shipping on this. But it's all right away. Air Pistol leather bomber jacket. That's it, guys. We're at 35 minutes. That's the end of my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, come and come and check me out at Horizon Picks. Hit the like button. Uh, drop me a comment, drop me a line. You have any questions, anything I can help you out with eBay, and uh, let me know what's on your horizon. All right, take care. Thanks for watching.